Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at the Ishin Air OTG01 Pro UVC receiver. Well, the name doesn't say a lot of uh, about this thing, but uh, this is the FPV receiver that works on Android and everyone is talking about it. Uh, this is the Pro model, there are several variations of it. The Pro model uh, has some nice features, it has two buttons here and one is for automatic scanning which all of this type of USB OTG receiver have and this button here is a back button while this is scanning or forward button and with this receiver you can actually manually change your channels and go forward or backward which is a big plus because uh, having only one button which only automatically scans the channels is kind of tricky because if you fly with friends and there are a lot of people in the flying field you have to use the automatic channel and search again and search again and search again until you find your own bird which is all right but with this you can manually fine tune your channel and there you go you have your own channel and you can adjust it and in case if you skip by mistake your channel you have to scan all the channels again well not with this you press back and there you go you have your own channel back so this thing comes with a regular antenna and it also comes with two cables one is a micro usb to micro usb and the other cable is a micro usb to uh, USB type C as you can see here so this thing is the most used cable nowadays of course this one is also very used it depends on your uh, phone or tablet for example my tablet here uh, uses uh, micro USB actually it's not a micro USB it's a type C connector so this thing plugs in here and it will connect to the receiver like that so let's see if this thing works out of the box of course there are plenty of apps for this to work on android including an ishin app but i'm going to use my pokey fpv app because it's already installed from my other receiver and hopefully this thing will work so it's loading it says you a UVC it's connected but you need to press this and I'm going to click OK and it's in working mode now so if I power on this test quadcopter let me add power to it all right and I'm going to remove the cap from the lens and now I'm going to press on this button here to scan. So scanning starts. And it scans very fast as you can see. And there we go. It has this nice graph here, it shows the signal strength, which is very nice because you see um, this is the lowest signal power and here it's the same and this shows is the best signal power from all that graph, which is nice, but you can finally tune this, you can go, you can see here it shows the frequency, you can go back or forward and choose your own channel if you know uh, the exact transmitter channel this is very useful because you are going to match the frequency all right so you may say that this thing is actually known on the market it's not very new so we know about this stuff it's nothing new well i'm going to show you something very interesting about it right now all right so what happens if you have a notebook with a type C connector which I'm going to put now so I'm going to replace the cable and I'm going to plug this into my notebook 
you aren't going to see any kind of uh, stuff because Windows 10 automatically installs this it takes one minute or something like that and after that it won't ever ask you about any kind of drivers or anything and now if I plug on the quadcopter back again to to have power and now this is powered on and this is connected I'm going to just open camera app on the computer and what do you know I have FPV on my laptop and how cool is that because now of course you can actually record the FPV stream from this thing and you can record it in of course the resolution at this thing outputs it's only uh, 640 by 480 but you can record it on 60 frames per second which makes it very smooth for a uh, DVR recording and if you are going to take a notebook with you for tuning PIDs or running Arduplane software and telemetry and stuff like that you can record video on it and that is very very useful and this thing works without any kind of drivers or issues or anything else you just plug it in on your notebook and it works just like that and that it's very nice and very useful for me so i hope that you have enjoyed my review and this uh, fact related to the ishin rodg01 pro module see you and until my next upload bye bye